Hello again. Um, right now, we're on our third video in our AutoCAD 3D uh, series. Um, right now, I'm just going to take and I'm going to turn this grid off. I always do that. I don't know why I have the grid up always. But right now, I'm going to draw a plate for our wheel assembly project that we have. Now, our wheel assembly, you've seen it before if you've looked at our Inventor series. Um, if not, uh, check that out. Basically, we start with a, it's, what, a six-part, five-part piece. Um, it's a base plate, two caster supports, an axle, a bushing, and a wheel. Okay, so that's all it is. So we're going to start by creating first off our uh, actual base plate. Now the base plate right here, I'm just going to simply draw it out. Now, if you're drawing AutoCAD, a lot of people still draw an AutoCAD, but in our case, I want this thing to be oh, say 5.25 by 3.25 there's our plate that's all it is I mean literally if I put a dimension on here now if I go over here to my an anodes and I put a dimension on there I've now got that thing drawn exactly the right size now um, that's all I really have to do now the only other thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna punch some holes in it and I'm going to fill it some corners so to do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the fillet command and I'm gonna use a radius of 0.5 and I'm gonna fill it this corner to this corner and continue that all the way around my part now, I could have done that with a polyline when I drew it the first time, but I find it easier to do this. Now, the other thing I have to do is I have to draw a couple of circles. Now, I'm going to draw my circles from the center of this, okay? From the center of that. Now, that has got to be 0.375 in diameter, in radius. Now, I just did it 3.375 in radius instead of diameter, so I'm going to erase that. So, let's try that again. Circle from the center of this, and it's supposed to be a diameter of 0.375 that's much better. Now I'm going to use a couple of little commands we have in AutoCAD that you're familiar with. I'm going to mirror from the midpoint over this way. Get my ortho lock on so it's straight. And I'm going to mirror these over this way. Now that's all I got to do. Now I'm going to turn this so I'm looking at it isometrically. So I'm going to look at my front, top, and right side. So there's my top, front, right side. All right, actually that's my back. Why am I over there? There's the one I want. So I'm looking at the normal isometric view. Now, again, we've used our extrude command before. So we're going to extrude this, and I'm going to simply go EXTRUD. Okay, there it is. I'm going to select this shape, and I actually have to select these four circles as well. Now, when I extrude this, it's trying to decide how far to go. Well, I'm going to go 0.625. That's the full width of the block when it's completed. So there it is. But the problem is, this is a solid and this is a solid. I need to be able to subtract this hole out of this plate. So I have to use a command called subtract. It's right there. Now, what it asks me if you look at here, it's objects. I'm going to subtract, okay, from this, enter, this, 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 and this. So I'm going to subtract the four holes out of it. Now, when I click on this, see how it's all one piece now? It's because this was a solid, and I've now subtracted out those holes. Easy enough. Now, I'm leaving it in wireframe. I work best in wireframe. Now, I'm going to go back to my plan view. Okay. And there he is. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make another block. So, if I go back over here to my draw tools, I'm just going to make a rectangle that's sitting here. Well, here's the problem with my rectangle. I don't know where it's at in relationship to this. So I have to make some construction lines. I know that it is 0.75 over this way, or excuse me, 1.75 inches over from each side. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to simply draw a line that does that. Now, I'm going to make a polyline, and I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go up, straight up, off the end of that guy, or straight down, doesn't matter. I'm going to come over this way, and I'm going to do the same thing off this one. Make a polyline. I'm straight off that end point right there straight down here and over like so. Now, if I fill it these two polylines together, so I'm going to fill it this polyline to this polyline. It didn't. It snapped. There's one of those things you have to watch out for that I didn't. I should have. I drew that from this top line and this and from the bottom line, so they are not coplanar lines. I've got to redraw. Okay, that's one of the problems with AutoCAD that I really have always had problems with. I'm going to draw on the 3D this time. Okay, that way I'm guaranteed to have them coplanar. 
Okay, what happened is, last time I was drawing from the bottom plane on this side and the top plane on this side. So now I can draw my polylines, and I can guarantee that they're on the same plane, because I already checked that. Now watch. If I fill it that to that, and this one to that one, invalid. I sometimes get mad at AutoCAD. There he is. Now, I've got a polyline right here, right? Now, if I do an extrude again, and I select this polyline. Now, this time I want to go downward, but I only want to go an eighth of an inch, or 0.125. So what's happened is this is now into this. So this new shape I made is cutting into that. So I have to use my subtract command again. So if I subtract from this shape, this shape, it should subtract it in. Now, let's look at something here real quick. Yep, it's in there. Okay. So, sub, tract, subtract from this shape, this shape. Now, if I go back over here to where I was before and look at it, I now have a groove cut through it. These lines I made that were construction lines are sacrificial. I can do the same thing again, but this time I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to draw a line right off that and come out this way. Okay. And then I'm going to go over this way. Oh, I don't know how far. So let's start with a simple polyline here. So we're going to edit. I'm going to go polyline. I'm going to hook right here on the end of this, come straight up, boom, straight over this way, oh, an inch and a half. And then all the way back through my part like so, back over here, say an inch and a half, and then back to close. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. but I'm going to start from a different spot. I mean, well, no, let's go to the same spot. Okay. I'm going to go up this way, like I said, whatever. Come in towards the center of the piece an inch and a half. Down here somewhere. Back over this way an inch and a half. And then close this shape. Now I've created two polylines. At this point, I'm going to use the extrude command again for this and this. And I'm going to tell them to come up 0.125. Now, oh, I typed in 1.125. we got to undo that. Put a decimal in there. Okay, so we extrude this and this up 0.125. So they're just little shivers, there's little slivers going into that guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to subtract again. I'm going to tell it to subtract from this, this, and this again. And I've made my notch. Now, there is my finished plate. It has no properties assigned to it. It's just generic right now, but it is my base plate for my AutoCAD file. Thank you.